Hello, uh, this is uh, Fred Oliveira from uh, Verizon. Uh, I've been working with uh, some several partners from uh, Ericsson, Huawei, and China Mobile uh, to incorporate some of the uh, Etsy capabilities uh, into the ONAP framework. Uh, what we're going to talk about in the next uh, few slides is um, uh, some of the work that we've been working on uh, in the Honolulu releases uh, and some of the upcoming um, work that will come in from the Istanbul release. Uh, Honolulu is uh, just about to complete um, and Istanbul uh, is about to start. Uh, I'll, I'll next I'll talk a little bit about uh, some of the details of um, uh, the work that we've accomplished or, uh, in uh, Honolulu uh, in order to design uh, some network services based on uh, the Etsy uh, MANO framework. Uh, we've been modifying some of the capabilities of uh, ONAP SDC uh, to enable uh, onboarding of uh, Etsy SOL4 packages. Uh, these uh, latest uh, uh, capabilities are what's called version uh, 3.3.1. Uh, and because we're looking to deploy uh, container-based uh, network functions, uh, we've incorporated uh, some uh, advanced capabilities uh, and data models from um, the uh, uh, Etsy IFA specifications. Uh, they've released a, a first set of uh, container capabilities. And so uh, we, as part of the ONAP uh, work, we've created data models that correspond uh, to the initial version of uh, the Etsy specification. Uh, and we're embedding them uh, as part of the uh, ONAP SDC so that it can uh, on board both uh, uh, VNFs based on VM-based uh, uh, network functions as well as uh, container-based network functions. Uh, beyond, uh, Etsy has moved on uh, a little bit, uh, and there's now a uh, initial work going on with uh, what's called version 4.2.1, uh, and we'll uh, intend to incorporate uh, those changes uh, over the next uh, few releases uh, so that we're aligned with uh, where Etsy uh, is going. Uh, from a initial uh, deployment, uh, again, we have a set of um, uh, new uh, data models uh, in this um, specification. Uh, and uh, from these data models, we can uh, describe uh, some of the uh, uh, details about how to manipulate uh, container-based uh, functions uh, and the topology uh, and uh, in environment uh, that would be used to lifecycle manage the, uh, these uh, environments. Uh, as you can see on the left here, there's, this is what that would be a, a simple model of a, a, a container uh, network function. Uh, has some descriptions of what would be Helm charts uh, in this model, uh, and uh, then descriptions of each one of the uh, deployable units uh, in Kubernetes term, this would be called a pod. Uh, a pod can be made up of multiple containers. Uh, and so again, this describes that there's uh, potentially multiple containers that are involved uh, and where they're located, uh, what the actual image uh, artifact would be, uh, and then the image itself would be uh, contained in the package. This overall block is intended to show uh, all the um, artifacts that are part of a package. Uh, there's, uh, again, the VNF descriptor uh, that is with uh, some uh, CNF enhancements, uh, various images that are the components of the uh, containers, uh, and uh, other metadata that uh, uh, is required to uh, verify and construct the uh, behavior of the environment. Uh, since there's a, um, uh, an alternative approach in an ONAP that uh, we're working on, uh, we've also incorporated this, um, uh, what's called a non-mano artifact, uh, which is basically a reference to a, uh, a parent Helm chart. Uh, that would describe similar capabilities that would be uh, in this uh, VNF descriptor. Uh, once a vendor uh, delivers one of these um, packages, um, we can incorporate that uh, as part of through SDC, uh, onboard that uh, process, uh, 
uh, and then look at which um, kind of model uh, it is uh, working with. If it's an Etsy-based data model, uh, we can pursue through the Etsy-based environment uh, and then uh, map that to uh, an internal uh, model. Uh, we also, uh, as part of uh, the package repository, we store the um, uh, repository uh, in this uh, Etsy package directory. Uh, and uh, then uh, we'll be able to uh, extract that out to the rest of uh, the environment so that we can actually uh, deploy this uh, as part of a service. Once this has been package has been created and uh, deployed as uh, what's called a service CSAR, uh, this is uh, deployed to the ONAP runtime, uh, and the ONAP runtime can then uh, read that and um, uh, deploy it as needed in the environment. Uh, so again, uh, the o as part of this uh, deployment, the um, SDC supports design of uh, uh, both the uh, uh, incorporation of a, what's called a SOL 7 package, uh, which is a, a network service model, uh, and it corresponds to, uh, again, the uh, version 3.3.1 uh, of the uh, uh, SOL specification. Uh, for future work, uh, we're actually also looking at the uh, incorporation of SOL 7 uh, or onboarding of the SOL 7 uh, packages as well. Hi, this is Byung Woo from Ericsson. I'm going to talk about ONEP SC alignment package distribution. So ONEP supports automated end-to-end -end source 7 and source 4 package distribution by conforming to SC specifications. SDC has a design time tool, onboards, and distribute the SC packages to ONEP SC cadre manager, which is ONEP shared component unit runtime. We're conforming to SOL 5 and SOL 3 package management APIs, including notification for CNF, container images are pushed to image registry, and CIR provides access through standard Docker registry API. We expect operator provides their own CIR components, operator register CIR to ONEP ANI, which is ONEP inventory system and external component management system. For that, SE catalog manager and other can use CIR instances for images. As an illustration, look at the diagram. OSS, ESS, they onboard store for VNF packages into SDC. SDC preserve the original vendor store for VNF packages and embed into its service CISA for distribution. As a catalog manager, as a common catalog manager in ONEM, they retrieve the vendor original sold for VNA packages, stores its, its database. Once it stores, it sends notification to its subscribers, such as sold 3 adapter, sold 5 adapter, through sold 3 package management APIs. Then it will forward the notification to SVNFM. SVNFM get the notification, send query request toward the sold adapter, and then SD catalog manager provide that packages to SVNFM and NFEO. For CNF, we position CIR component to handle image files. So during onboarding to SDC, SDC stores container images to image registry on top, which is, could be part of the CIR component. Once the CIR stores the container images, CISM, and CIS component can leverage that images. This is about the ONEP SOL 5 and SOL 3 alignment update. ONEP NFEO, there are two NFEO in ONEP, SONFEO, BFC. It supports SC SOL 5 for NS package management and LCM2. Likewise, NFEO will be registered to ONEP ANI again, so SOL 5 adapter can find NFEO instances, triggers on NFEO instance, leveraging SOL 5 APIs. SOL 3 adapter support SC SOL 3 APIs for VNF packages and LCM. As a requirement, all participating SVNFM must 
support SC so three APIs, Azure their North Smart interfaces to simplify standardize the interaction between ONEP and SBNFM and NFEO. SBNFM also will be registered to ONEP ANI. As I mentioned before, SC Cadre Manager support SC SOL5, SOL3 package management APIs. As your illustration purposes, operator register NFU to NI and trigger UI. UI get the registered NFU list and calling request to SO for NS request. So SO process it and trigger SOL5 adapter for NS operation. And SOL5 adapter chooses one of the NFU based on the input from UI and then also information from ANI. They fetch and then they trigger the proper NFU instances through the SOL5 uh, right, LCM interfaces. For example, SO NFU for VNF management, it triggers SOL3 adapter and SOL3 adapter interfaces with the VNFM through SOL3 uh, ACM APIs. For CNF purposes, it communicates with the CNF adapter in SO and communicates through multi-cloud Kubernetes interfaces. And then you will communicate with the CISM and CIS. And CIS and CISM retrieve the container image from CIR component. So we have adapter, we have a um, connection to NFU, NFM and SC Cadre Manager provides the older package management. That's the conclude my uh, presentation and Sesha going to talk about the CNF roadmap. Thanks uh, Byung and Fred for the introduction on what we have done so far. And um, uh, hi guys, I'm Seishu Kumar here from Huawei. I'm a lead architect in uh, Huawei and I have been working on an app uh, on the CNF uh, orchestration and the PTL of service orchestrator too. So uh, as uh, Bing and Fred have introduced uh, the current work, uh, we are mainly working on twofold. One on the on the modeling side, where we are trying to incorporate the changes of ETSI into ONAP and uh, making ONAP compatible with the CNF work on on the ETSI side. And also, we have been working on the native Helm-based orchestration within ONAP itself, that is called CNF orchestration, uh, which is basically under the service orchestrator, where it will become a one of the resource orchestration. So here in the service orchestrator, as Byung has depicted sometime before, we have many two components which are doing the job here. Uh, one is a Sol5 adapter or Sol5 adapter, which is actually for the NFO interaction. Another is Sol3 adapter for the VNFM interaction. Also, we have the ETS NFO, which is basically the NFO part of the MANO where we are doing the interactions one. So to continue here, um, we are also looking into the arena where uh, in the future plan, we do have a, a collaboration plan for having these two flows done together. Uh, without losing any of the existing functionality to ensure that the, the users of ONAP can get the maximum number of it. Uh, here, we may, mainly have the plan to collaborate with uh, ETSI flow to have both ETSI and, and, the, and the non ETSI, that is the native Helm KTS based uh, interactions to be done. Uh, this is by sharing the common models, the components, and also on for onboarding, packaging, distribution, and KTS interactions. So that includes the distribution part, the instantiation part, and also the telemetry in future. Uh, where we want to have the common instances stored in the, in the ANDI uh, of ONAP. And in the case of ETS NFE based, ONAP uh, uh, interacts with KTS cluster for CNF orchestration through SOL 18. This is something which we are thinking for future phased uh, so that we can actually get the maximum of what is happening on the modeling side. Uh, and here we want to actually incorporate a common flow between both the flows, as you see in the, depict, in the picture, picture depicted on the side, that both the uh, SOL-based interaction as well as non-SOL-based interaction will be coming to the same CNF adapter. And the CNF adapter is the one which will be interacting with the multi-cloud underneath where we have a QRX cluster uh, that is through KTS plugin. Also, there's a, there's a discussion on uh, SEC 021-based uh, secure communication that is actually BNF uh, secure uh, uh, specification, which is what is what we are working on uh, for the SVNFM, XNFU on KTS-based interactions and communications within uh, from ONAP. So this is something as a future item. And then last but not least, we have the ORAN OD, O2 DMS support also under discussion. 
So in short, this is the uh, current work which we're working on. In priority, I would say that the, the starting point would be to have the modeling uh, part of it to be done so that we have the common models across both these flows. So for that, the critical part would be to have ETSA also following the native KHS as much as possible uh, so that we can use the same models across both the flows and also the, uh, the orchestration to be in line with what is being onboarded. Uh, we want to make it model driven as much as possible to have everything automated. Uh, then there comes a SOL 18 and then the sec security communication using SOL 6021. With that, we want to conclude today's session. Thanks a lot for uh, all your, uh, for all you attending this. Uh, this is where you can contact us, guys. Please, please feel free to contact us and also uh, we encourage people to participate further on this. For any collaboration on this effort would be great. Um, with that, I want to conclude and take up any further questions. Mm -hmm.